Hi folks, it's Rob here. I'm going to make a quick video on all the essentials and perhaps some niceties of what you'll need to get you started on your pizza making journey. First things first, you'll need an oven. On display here I've got an Uni gas powered uh, pizza oven, it's called a Coda. You'll need an oven. Secondly, you'll need some pizza peels, certainly the one on the left hand side to launch the pizza into the oven and the one on the right hand side is so that it can turn the pizza inside the oven without taking the whole thing out so that the heat is still there. That's important if you strive for a 90 second cook. You'll also want some scales. The one on the right is just normal kitchen scales. I use that to measure my flour, my water and my salt. And on the left hand side is a jeweler's scale. More often than not, a recipe will ask you to measure 0.4 of a gram of yeast or something like that. And uh, the scales on the right can't quite do that. So get some jeweler scales for your yeast. There's plenty of recipes all over the place that you can wing and 100% of the time it will come out fine, but pizza is certainly not one of those. You want to be exact. Once you've balled up your dough and it's proof and getting ready to be stretched to remove it from your baking tray or your dough tray, get a scraper. That's a dough scraper, um, but for a long time I just used a plaster or a scraper from B&Q and it worked a treat. You'll need a pizza cutter, that's self-explanatory. And the last essential that I say you need is an infrared thermometer. If you want the base of your pizza to be cooked properly, you'll want the center of the stone to be about 430 degrees Celsius. And the only way that you can measure that properly is using one of these infrared guns. Some niceties that I've got along the way is a KitchenAid heavy duty mixer. That takes a lot of the kneading process and the mixing hard work out for me. I like things to be easy. I've got a wire tray and some mesh, a wire rack and some mesh trays. Once I've cooked a pizza, I'll take it out of the oven and sit it on the mesh tray. That allows some of the heat and the steam to escape from the base of the pizza. If you were to put it directly on a plate, you'll find sometimes the base goes a bit soggy because of all the moisture. I talked about peels earlier on. Uh, the one on the left is your bog standard basic peel. I now have a perforated peel and the same story, it helps with some of the steam escaping, especially if you use that to turn it halfway through a cook, the base still emits a lot of moisture. So perforated peel is what I use now. I've also got an apron. I think that goes without saying. The amount of times I've been kneading dough and wiping my hands on my trousers, get an apron. You can pick them up really cheap. I've also got some dough trays from Solent Plastics. The link is in the description. It's what I used just once I've balled up the dough. It's an airtight dough container and uh, it makes things a little bit nicer, a little bit more professional. And lastly, uh, a basil plant. The amount of basil that I buy packaged from a supermarket was crazy. And I don't know why I didn't buy a plant sooner. Now I've got an endless supply. So that's the essentials. Add some niceties. Good luck and I can't wait to see your pizzas.